the JUTC was expecting full resumption of service late Tuesday afternoon. Reports are that the operations are on a phased basis. The state-run entity put a halt on its operations after one of its drivers was fatally shot Monday night. It's believed the incident is a retaliation for the fatal stabbing of a taxi operator on Washington Boulevard. The bus driver, whose identity has not yet been released, allegedly stabbed 37-year-old taxi driver Akina Britton, otherwise called Bubinal, several times killing him. According to the police, Mr. Britton was driving a Toyota Isis motor car along Washington Boulevard in Kingston 20 about 6.45 p.m. Monday when he allegedly got into an altercation with the JETC bus driver. The police said the situation escalated and a knife was brought into play. Mr. Britton was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced dead. The JUTC bus driver accused of killing the taxi operator is now in police custody. The Jamaica Constabular Force JCF said he surrendered to the police Tuesday morning. An emergency meeting was held on Tuesday to discuss the resumption of service. In the meantime, the death of the JUTC bus driver near Emancipation Park in New Kingston resulted in chaos across the Kingston and St. Catherine transport areas after JUTC bus operators withdrew their services. The drivers were upset over the shooting death of their colleague, 34-year-old Michael Donaldson, otherwise called Biggs of Bull Bay in the parish. And JUTC took precautionary measures by evacuating the Halfway Tree Transport Center to safeguard the commuting public as tensions mounted following the killing of the driver. Corporate communication manager at the JUTC, Cecil Toms, says the police have agreed to provide enhanced presence on selective routes. Mr. Toms says the JUTC will be reaching out to families of both deceased. The Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, PSTEB, has since given the assurance that the police will be deployed along bus routes in the corporate area. Assistant Commissioner Kevin Blake says attention will be placed on certain routes. We have had meetings with the management and staff of the JUTC and have been given the assurance that um, as long as we can provide coverage for some key corridors, they will be out in operation this afternoon. It's a welcoming decision from our side and we will be providing all those coverage for these areas and also we will ensure that we are out in our numbers to facilitate the smooth flow of traffic and the safety of our road users. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.